Today, there are 24 species of crocodilians, all of which are semi-aquatic quadrupedal predators of some sort. However, millions of years ago, the larger group they were part of, Crocodiliomorpha, was once much more diverse. Besides the more familiar semi-aquatic species, there were also fully aquatic and fully terrestrial groups that shared the world with their more famous cousins, the dinosaurs and pterosaurs. During the Triassic, some of the earliest crocodiliomorphs were even bipedal, such as Carnifunix and Saltoposuchus. However, by the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods, all known crocodiliomorphs were thought to be exclusively quadrupeds, though a new discovery made in Korea suggests that this may not have been entirely the case. In the summer of 2020, several sets of fossil footprints of a large crocodiliomorph were described from the Jinju Formation in Korea, dating back to the early Cretaceous period roughly 125 to 100 million years ago. These tracks are well preserved, even including skin impressions and are up to 24 centimeters long. Unfortunately, no body fossils were found, though the tracks themselves were given the name Bactertropus grandis. Other tracks within the larger Bactertropus family of tracks are, at most, half the size of Bactertropus grandis. Based on the length of these tracks, the authors estimate a length of 2-3 to three meters for the crocodiliomorphs that made them. Besides their large size, the Bactetropus grandis tracks lacked any indication of forelimb tracks, suggesting the track maker was bipedal, a first for a Cretaceous crocodiliomorph. Besides the fossils described in the summer of 2020, a similar set of fossils found in 2012 were recognized as belonging to Bactetropus grandis. Found in the Haman Formation, also from the early Cretaceous of Korea, due to their poor preservation, these tracks are once thought to have been made by a large bipedal pterosaur, a group otherwise only known from quadrupedal species. Even larger than the Bactetropus grandis tracks from the Jinju Formation, these tracks suggest the crocodiliomorph who made them was 4.7 meters long. Little is known about the species that made these tracks. Even the name Bactetropus grandis refers to the type of tracks rather than the creature that made them. Other fossil tracks belonging to the wider Bactetropus inco species are thought to have either come from Protosuchus or close relatives, who are small, terrestrial, carnivorous crocodiliomorphs thought to have filled an ecological role comparable to modern foxes. However, just like all other Cretaceous and Jurassic crocodiliomorphs, Protosuchus and all other known relatives were quadrupedal. Given its size and bipedal gait, it is apparent the maker of the Korean tracks differ in both its anatomy and its ecology from any known Jurassic or Cretaceous crocodiliomorph. Perhaps a better ecological comparison for the maker of the Bactetropus grandis tracks is one of the earliest and most basal crocodiliomorphs, Carnifunix. Carnifunix is thought to have been bipedal given its short forelimb length and with an estimated length of 3 meters, it is the closest comparison to the Jinju crocodiliomorph. While known from incomplete remains, based on more complete fossils of its relatives, it would have been easy to mistake it for a theropod dinosaur. It's thought to find a relatively large prey, though given the size of larger predators in late Triassic, it is not thought to have been an apex predator. However, while Carnifunix may be the best available analog for the maker of the Bactetropus grandis tracks, given the 100 million years between them, it is unlikely the bipedal gait of the maker of the Bactetropus grandis tracks was inherited from common ancestor with Carnifunix. Rather, it is more likely to make sure the Korean tracks acquired bipedalism independently from a protosuchus like ancestor. What's more, it's not even certain if the trap maker was a predator like Carnifunix. As some Mesozoic crocodiliomorphs were omnivorous, such as Armadillosuchus, or even herbivorous, such as Simiosuchus. During the Triassic, more distant relatives of crocodilians, such as Ciliosuchus, were both bipedal and herbivorous. However, regardless of its diet or anatomy, the maker of the Bacotropus grandis tracks is one of the rare examples in the Cretaceous period of a relatively large terrestrial animal in the northern continents that wasn't a dinosaur. Surprisingly, the trackways may offer some insight into the lifestyle of their makers. One of the sites contained five Bacotropus grandis trackways that were sub-parallel to each other. This suggests the track makers may have lived in groups or at least tolerated each other. While it is possible they were following a shoreline or another obstacle, given how the tracks were almost evenly spaced from each other, it seems likely that the tracks were made at roughly the same time, suggesting they were living in either some sort of pack or herd. All in all, this is an exciting discovery. Bactetropus grants provides evidence of bipedals and crocodilomorpha, previously only known from Triassic species. It also provides evidence of a large, non dinosaur and terrestrial animal from the Cretaceous. While little is known for sure about the maker of the Bactetropus grandis tracks, Hopefully body fossils will be uncovered in the future that will help clear up many of these holes in our understanding. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something interesting. If you're interested in the discovery and want to learn more, be sure to check the links in the description. And once again, thank you.